In this video, we'll explore immunogenicity predictions in the context of a structure. The structure shown here is antigen GP120, an envelope glycoprotein on the surface of the HIV virus. GP120 is a target protein for vaccine development. The locations where GP120 can potentially contact antibodies is known as the B-cell epitope. Our goal is to locate candidate positions for this epitope. I'll start by rearranging the views so we can see the analysis view and the structure view simultaneously. To do this, I'll just drag the analysis view to the bottom of the screen and drop it. For clarity, I'll go to the Methods panel and remove all of the methods except for the one we're interested in, which is the jameson wolf immunogenicity method. In the analysis view, the jameson wolf region boxes show areas that may denote antigenicity. I want to see where these regions are on the structure, so I'll start by highlighting all of the positions simultaneously. To do this, I hold down the control key while I single click on each of the region boxes. The regions are simultaneously selected in all views, as you can see from the aqua highlights in both the analysis and structure views. Now that we've selected the initial candidates for the B-cell epitope, I'll mark them by changing their color to orange. To do this, I'll click on the Style tab and open the color bar and change the fill color to orange. Finally, I'll double click on the background to reveal the orange color that we just selected. Now we want to look for large patches of orange that may indicate a nice antibody binding site. We'll want to look at all sides of the structure. I'll start by double-clicking in the center of GP120, and next I'll use the Structure Center on Selection command. I'll change to the Rotate tool, and now I can just rotate the molecule in any direction using my mouse. We can see that many of the orange areas are in relative isolation from the others. However, there's one area that has a lot of orange. This is most likely to be the site where the antigen contacts its antibody. By selecting the jameson wolf region boxes one at a time, we can figure out which regions comprise this large patch of orange. Now I'll select only the region boxes in the area of interest and color them pink. This is our candidate for the B-cell epitope. Since the GP120 structure that we've been working with is actually part of a crystal complex, I'll now reveal the antibody that I hid before this video began. This antibody does indeed contact GP120 in the area of our putative B-cell epitope. So the James and Wolf prediction, together with our visual sorting in the structure view, led us to predict the correct epitope positions. If you have further questions about epitope prediction in Protean 3D, or any other questions about our software, please visit us at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.